Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, we will see how to use Tensor AI. So, Tensor AI is also known as Tensor Art or Tensor Art AI. It is an online platform where you can create different kind of images that are called AI generated images and different kind of videos and other stuff. On this platform, we have different kind of models that you can use or if you want to download them, if you want to customize them, you can also do that. So in this video, we will see how to access this platform and how to use its tools there. It is very easy and very simple to use it. First, you have to go to the browser and there you have to search for Tensor AI or Tensor Art. Once you get the result, you just have to simply click onto it and then you will land onto its website. So this is the home interface of Tensor Art. This is how the website looked. Here is the logo of Tensor Art, which is also known as Tensor AI. If you want to sign up or sign in, you can do that by this option, which is a profile icon, and then you will get registered on this platform. On the other hand, here we have these models that you can use you can download them or if you want to run them like you want to use them you want to create images with the help of them you can do that there are different categories like anime host and other stuff whatever you choose your art will be created according to it this one is called post here people have posted what they have created with the help of this platform if you also create something and you think it is wonderful, you can also share it so that other could get inspired or you can get inspired from these images. This is how it works. And this one is called Leaderboard. Here all the people who have been leading this website will appear here. Like if they have created wonderful artworks, they will be here. And if you want to host your own model, there are two options. Here we have some of the options at the top but the main purpose of using this platform is models. You can just simply create different kind of AI images with the help of models by using one of them or you can download them in your system and customize according to your preferences. So there I am going to use this one because I think this one looks good therefore I am going to click onto it and after that this model will open and we can create images so here you can see this is a profile of this image and this is what it has created and there we have some of the information regarding this model you can download them or you can run them so here we are just gonna run them to create AI images with the help of this platform or if you want to follow this one you can also do that once you click on to run you will get up here there you will also see your previous chat if you have created AI images there. First you can see the models that it is using. And after that we have the strength of this model. If you want to make it strong, you can do that. If you want to reduce it, you can also do that. And there are options like you can add control net and add LoRa. You can also use VAE option. If you have any information regarding it, you can use it. And after that, here we come the prompt. So in prompt, whatever you want to create, you have to type it here. Let's say you want to see a person flying in the sky or maybe cat drinking coffee. You can just simply type it here. And after that, it will generate an image according to it. You can type whatever you're looking for. And after that, you will see an image based on what you have written. So here I'm going with very simple prompts like a girl with brown eyes and some of black dark hairs on her head and with high quality instructions. You can also add different kind of instructions like high quality, realistic, hyper realistic, anime, whatever you're looking for. And in negative prompt, you have to explain what exactly you're not looking for, like bad quality, ugly images, irregular body. Or if you don't like something and you don't want to see in the image, you can just simply type it here and it will not be there. And once you're done, you can choose the aspect ratio. There are different options available. You can also customize according to your preferences. You can also do that whatever you're looking for. And after that, we have other options that you can use. If you want to customize these options according to your preferences, you can also do that. Here we have also advanced settings. You can also use them according to your choices. And you may open or not these options. And once you're done, just simply click on generate. And here you can see it has just started working onto it. And once it's done, we will see what it has generated for us. We just have to wait for few minutes or seconds and then we will see the result. And this is the image that it has created. Once we click onto it, we can see what details it has added. I told it to add brown eyes and black hairs and it did a wonderful job. 
so that's how you can use this platform to create ai images it is very easy and very simple to use it first you have to get registered on this platform by using any of your personal account and after that you can use any model of your choice there are different options available you can go whatever you like then you just have to give prompt negative prompt and some of the other options and it will generate an image for you so that's how you can use tensor ai hope you found this video helpful and informative in case if you have not subscribed to the youtube channel then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates and thank you so much for watching the video